Hi, welcome to a Fusion 360 video tutorial, the second part of the WW109 fighter plane. And I want to model the wings and to make life easier for all of us. I want to use just one profile, this one, and scale it for reuse to this size. If you want to get a more detailed model, you have to use more profiles. Also, I will model that wing horizontal and then tilt it upwards because that's a slight angle here, about five degrees. Now let's begin with a sketch on the main sketch plane, which should be Take a look, there should be a main sketch plane somewhere. There it is, here it is. Let's go for a sketch on that plane. So, I want to use circles here and there. So one circle here and another one on the other side small one there. Let's draw a line between those center points from this one to that one. Confirm. And now I need two splines. Let's see. Let's go for a fit point spline. And I want to start So what does it snap to? That's sort of crazy. Here, can't go over there because the tree's there. Never noticed that. So let's draw that spline along that curve. Confirm. Another one here. Confirm. Now let's make it tangent. This one should be tangent. Seems I can only select those handles. Yeah, so I will go for that handle. Same over here, circle handle, go to this side, circle, handle, circle, handle. Now let's move this a little bit over here and that one slightly to this position, maybe like that. And then I want to trim. So this should be removed here. Yeah. This should be removed. You can't delete those handles. This should be and that should be removed. This arc and that arc. Go back over there and okay now i want to copy that profile onto a different plane therefore i want to select it and please note 
those selection rectangles select a lot of stuff, more than you might think, so be careful. Okay, finish that, oh, for, sorry, control C for copy and finish that sketch. Now, I need a sketch on my inner wing plane. Control V for paste. And that should put that profile down below, yes. And you can move it up there. Zoom in. And place it here, somewhere over here. Yeah, looks good. And confirm. Now I want to reuse that profile on a different plane. Therefore, I will select it. Control C for copy. Finish that sketch. Let's go to our outer wing plane and do a sketch there. And just Control V for paste, which puts without changes the profile on top on the other. Now I need a plane which goes through those two lines. Or should I first uh, scale it? I will try to scale it. So, hide sketch 10, otherwise you will select sketch 10 as well. Now go for modify sketch scale, but before you need some sort of point. And the point has to be not selected. So I would put a point right there on this point here. I should be able, nope. I want to have a point right there. Okay. And okay. Now let's scale, modify, sketch scale, and select just those curves without the line. And you need a scale point, and I want to use that point which I just put right there. Yeah, you have to make sure it's not within those entities. Otherwise, it will not work. Strange, but it is like it is. So the scale factor would be 0 0.55. Okay, now I want to move this a little bit to the right. So go for move copy, select it and move it to the right, maybe about that position and okay. I will need another plane. Let's bring back sketch 10 and hide that image, the canvas, okay. And normal, usually I would do uh, a plane between those two lines, but that will not work. Oh, let's see, go through two edges, doesn't work. So I will go for a plane with an angle. Okay, plane at angle, that's the line and the uh, angle should be 90 degrees. Okay, nice. That could have a name. And that would be wing sketch plane. Now I can do, of course, a loft. So go for surface, go for a loft from this profile here. Go for chain selection. So maybe select the arc here. And it doesn't go full around. So let's select Uh, 
That's amazing. <laughs> that selection. Crazy. Let's cancel this and try once more. Go for loft. Chain selection. And it would be a closed one, of course. So let's see if we select here. I can select the complete sketch like this, the complete profile. Then move over here and do the same. And you will get a nice wing surface here. Next sketch should be on this plane here. So go for a sketch on that plane. And I want to use the intersection curves from the surface with that surface with that plane. So go for project include, go for intersect, go for a body, select that body and confirm. Now I could hide that body, which is up here and make those two lines for construction only. Next I need a spline which starts here, goes over there, 1.2 point, 3 points, 4 points and then ends here. Make it tangent Zoom in, so this one and that one should be tangent. This one and that one should be tangent as well. Did it work? No, it did. Then you can adjust those points a little bit if you want. Maybe like that. That's okay. And finish that sketch. Now bring back that surface. That would be this body here. And you should do a whole lot of renaming, but uh, I don't care at the moment because some programs are not meant for some exercises, not really. I want to split that surface. So go for modify, go for split body. The body to split would be this one and the splitting tool would be that last plane, the wing sketch plane. This one. Confirm. And now I can do a loft because I couldn't find another way to do a decent wingtip by using just that profile and those edges. So let's go for another loft. Now without chaining, select that arc, this curve. Let's take a look on this one. And then add another one that would be this one and add another one this arc and that one and this one here okay looks okay but I want to have Tangency here and tangency there. And you could change the tangency weight, but I think it's okay. So let's confirm this. Now I could stitch those together. This one and that one. Confirm. 
and then I want to extend the wing to my main sketch plane. So extend would be this command. Select the edges. Zoom in. This edge. That edge. Oh, I think I forgot to stitch one surface, the lower surface. So let's go to the stitch. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> of course, this one should be stitched as well. Now I have one complete body. Yeah. Now go for extend. Select the edges. Okay. And this should go up to not possible. Okay. So I will extend it maybe. Let's take a look. Yeah, that should do. Yeah, that would be okay. So go for a discrete value of 435. Great. Okay, now I want to tilt this five degrees upwards. Therefore, I will need some sort of axis to rotate it. So I might do a new sketch on the main sketch plane here. Sketch. Looks okay. So go for a line and that line should be about here. Confirm and finish that sketch. And now I could rotate this upwards a little bit, five degrees. So go for modify, move copy. I want to rotate around an axis. The axis would be this one here and maybe five degrees up or five degrees down. Let's see. If I go for five degrees in that direction, that would be down. So it should be, I move it. Let's take a look from here. If I move that circle up, it will go to minus five degrees. So let's go for minus five degrees. Minus five degree. And I should select the body. So what's missing? I've selected the axis. Yes. Hmm, faces. That's not a body or what? So if we go for body, yeah, now, now it does. So it was not selected here. It just showed bodies, but it was not selected. So let's go for minus five degree. Yeah. And I'm done for this one. Hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. I will do a little cleanup with my tree here. Rename some of the sketches, rename them and put them maybe into a different folder if possible. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.